Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how my tissue culture has been doing. Um, I recently moved it over to this cabinet over here and I'm sort of acclimating it down right now because they've grown quite a bit since the last time I posted my video. So if you're curious and you wanna know what I've been doing and how they've been growing and thriving, keep watching and let's get into it. All right, so I moved the tissue cultures into this cabinet because of the grow light. And if you watched my previous video when I was working on the IKEA cabinet, I went through the different types of grow lights you can have and I really wanted my plants to root very well. And as you can see, or at least I hope you can see, they are growing and thriving. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the cabinet and we're gonna get up close and personal so you guys can see what's been going on and I guess what they've been doing um, I do know a couple of people have had a few questions with regards to I don't know I guess fertilizing and nutrients and all that stuff so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown and just show you what they currently look like all right we're back and I can talk to you more about how these guys have been growing and thriving under my care and thriving to me means that it's producing leaves and putting off a lot of roots so everyone has a different definition as to what's considered to be thriving and that's my definition of thriving so currently right now um, I had mentioned that these guys are acclimating down so that means that these holes were previously um, enclosed so it was receiving hundred percent humidity and now they are fully open and in the next couple of weeks I'm hoping that they acclimate well to lower humidity that way I can just eventually remove the lid and next month or so I can actually pot them up into bigger pots assuming that the roots are going to be okay. Now this one is my philodendron bilitae variegated and as you can see it's kind of a slow grower compared to the others and there's no variegation yet. Just kind of disappointing but because it's a slow grower I think that might be because it is variegated or it has like good genetics to be variegated I don't know I'm I'm hoping <laughs> so maybe um, when I transplant them into uh, more soil it'll give me a little bit more variegation so this one is a really good example hope it focuses but it has bigger leaves on top here maybe I can show you like this so this one has bigger leaves on top and it has a very nice aerial root that's coming out over here. Now, what I like to do when my plantlets give me like a much bigger leaf like this is I'll actually clip them and plant them back into soil and that's how I've been able to multiply my um, my plants because bilitides like to climb. Um, they're just gonna continue to grow taller so I'll just like clip them off and put them into fresh soil that way it gives uh, the the uh, the older leaves here a better chance of growing and hopefully giving me um, more variegation so I do see the edges are kind of purple and pink so I don't know we'll see all right so the next tissue culture I want to show you guys is my Florida Beauty and you know what they have grown quite a bit and I'm pretty excited but I'm also pretty sad because there's really no variegation I mean I get like different shades of green in here but um no no variegation yet so I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks I can actually transplant them to a bigger pot and have them sit closer to the light and hopefully that'll stimulate some variegation but uh for now i get to look at these beautiful green leaves and they're doing really well um they feel very sturdy actually so i think this one right over here is gonna perhaps do the best i do have some little ones over here too that are still very small and these guys are small because like I had mentioned 
I did the same thing with all of my plantlets. Um, if they are growing very tall and they start giving me bigger leaves, I'll just snip them off and shove them back into the dirt. That way it can continue to grow because it's a top cutting and the bottom cuttings will just produce leaves for me and eventually get to be um, the size of this one day if I ever stop clipping them. But yeah, so far no variegation, but I have lime green and dark green we'll see and lastly i have the rubicin which is supposed to be variegated as well but um yeah still very green <laughs> and i don't think this one does very well uh close to the grow light because it started to give me like yellow leaves and they feel very soft like still very juvenile to me and I find that when my plants are um, closer to the light, it's almost like it's drying it out too much. So I think I'm going to have to move these guys further away from the light and it'll do better. But yeah, still very green. Kind of disappointed. But maybe I should have invested in white wizards and pink princesses. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to care tips and I can honestly say I haven't done anything special other than move it from one location to another because I wanted the plantlets to have um, a different set of lights. So previously it had white lights and um, I just felt like it wasn't doing enough for the plants because it was growing at a fast rate but not fast enough for me. And I found that any of my plants that were under those grow lights over there um, is stimulated more more growth in the sense that I had better roots and the foliage was a lot bigger and you know what it it worked <laughs> I'm not complaining so I'm happy with my my change so that's what I've done differently it's fairly warm in there so previously they were sitting under a, uh, a heat pad but not anymore I've removed the heat pad and they're just chilling in there and they were receiving hundred percent humidity so now I am reducing the humidity by opening up the, uh, the circle here. So we're going to do that for about two weeks and then I'm going to go ahead and transplant them into like a bigger pot uh, so that it can just continue to grow. So now in terms of fertilizer, I do recall that somebody had left a comment with regards to why I wasn't um, fertilizing them and I do this to all of my plants which is if the roots are very fragile and it's trying to establish itself i don't give it any fertilizer because i feel like the plant should establish itself first and have a good root system and then focus on feeding the plant because the roots are really going to dictate whether or not the plant is going to grow or at least that's how that's how i view it i don't know if that makes sense to anybody else but um yeah, I don't fertilize my uh, my plants. I do still give it diluted HB 101. This is great if your plant is struggling to root. So I do use this. Very small though. I don't I don't put a lot of this in. So it just like a couple of drops into a squeezy bottle and then I water my plants. Now in terms of how much do I actually water my plants? I don't really water it that much unless it looks super dry. Um, I am terrified of root rot so I don't find myself watering it very often and because it was receiving 100% humidity um, the soil was still fairly moist so yeah I think it was like maybe every two weeks I was watering it and I actually find that when I move my plants over to the other um, IKEA cabinet with that purplish pink grow light that my plants actually dry out quite a bit so these guys seem to be doing okay so far and that's just because uh, it was receiving 100% humidity now that I have opened up the hole um, I might need to water it a little bit more frequently but I will update you guys on my next update but otherwise yeah I don't really have too much to report other than I've been multiplying my plants by just kind of like clipping them when they have grown enough. Maybe I can show you. Hmm. 
show you this one. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So this is what I mean by just kind of like clipping it off. So this is the Bella tie and it has a growth happening over here. So you can see it's fairly rooted. It's doing pretty well. And where is it? It has this aerial root that's popping up over here and it has this little nub that's going that's popping up over here so I like to actually just clip it now I think I'm gonna clip it and then I'll show you why I did it so we're back and now I have two plantlets and I just used my fingers to just clip them off but um I don't know if you're really picky about it you can go ahead and use scissors or whatever but in any case this is very well rooted this is the bottom one so this is the little one this is the bottom cutting and it still has growth happening and even if this doesn't grow into anything I'm whatever about it I don't really care too much because this is what I'm trying to save and keep so these leaves are very big and it has like this um, red I don't know edging so I don't know that excites me because I feel like it's genetics might actually be legit <laughs> so you can see that I kept the aerial roots attached to it and it's still fairly rooted so it's gonna do okay and what I do is I just like pull these things off like we don't need the little baby leaves you gotta sacrifice a few leaves for the greater good so those are gonna go and I may lose a few so I'm just gonna go ahead and just remove them so now we're left with just three so I've already moved the little baby leaves and I'm gonna go ahead and just plant them back into the um, the soil and just let it be and I found that when I actually clip them off like that and put them into its own little section they just grow and thrive better um, probably because it's not using a lot of energy to sustain the little leaves and it's just focusing on the growth of the new leaves so I hope that makes sense and I hope this new leaf is uh, variegated yeah so if you found this video helpful and you are doing tissue culture as well please drop a comment down below let me know how it's going and what have you guys been doing to keep your plantlets alive and uh, I'm sure there's other people that are very interested in tissue culture and there's just not enough information out there so drop a comment down below I'd love to learn more and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time bye